I'm here with John McAfee in Malta at the Malta Blockchain Summit, but I am not going to ask him about blockchain. My first question is, uh, you had a, an incredible life. You have been smart. You have been lucky. What is your legacy going to be? Well, I think I've been far more lucky than smart. Um, I think every successful person in the end is far more lucky than smart. And my legacy, I hope my legacy will be a world somehow changed for the better by whatever insights, information, education, uh, work uh, I have done that the world adopts. Let's uh, make a little thought experiment. You are 150, uh, maybe you just uh, celebrated your birthday. With your eyes open, not eyes closed, um, what is the world that you see around yourself? Uh, where are you? What are you doing? Well, you know, that's, that is a very tricky question because the options are almost unlimited, are they not? I mean, the world that I will see around me if I live to a 150, not possible, could be a nightmare of totalitarianism by the misuse of the technology that, that the brighter of us have developed. Or it might be a world where for the first time people are truly free. What do I mean by that? I mean that you no longer have to ask permission once you become an adult, of course, of anybody to do anything that you wish, provided it does not interfere with anybody else's ability to do what they wish, provided we are honest and keep our contracts, and provided that we do not harm someone else. Now, do you need more? Because if you have those as your only laws, you don't need police, you don't need anything. And it is interesting because uh, here we are at uh, the biggest uh, blockchain conference uh, of the year and it looks like that uh, the vast majority of these participants disagree with you and me because uh, the blockchain world starting from the kind of premise that you just uh, uh, formulated has become very institutional, almost institutionalized. So. What excites you today? What are the new things that you are looking for to be able to explore and potentially influence with, with, with your personality, with your quirks and, and, and your vision? Well, I hope, and, and starting today, I mean, today for the first time, I will be a different person on stage. And while I will talk about the blockchain, I'm gonna talk about it in a completely different manner from a different perspective. What is happening is our greed to make money from cryptocurrency is motivating us to make more. And some of us perceive that if we have governmental cooperation uh, and institutions which will make it easier for us to sell things like ICOs and tokens on exchanges, we'll make more money. I believe that that will fail and I hope that that will fail. Because in the end, when we have distributed exchanges and governments will no longer be able to shut them down. We'll no longer be able to find who is doing what, what transactions are, are transpiring between individuals and companies. Then the governments will have to change. They will have to find a new source of revenue unless they believe that every citizen is going to be honest enough to declare everything that they make. Governments are happy uh, to uh, see us uh, their uh, subjects. Yes. and uh, uh, they have been extremely successful uh, as of today except Antarctica there is not a single place in the world where people can say I don't belong I am not a subject but yes you are right uh, not only blockchain but many other technologies solar in energy uh, uh, vertical farming indoor farming peer-to-peer uh, -peer learning are pointing in a direction of a self-sovereign individual yes. and uh, the conflict however is asymmetrical they've got the guns governments only have control when they can enforce regulations and legislation when they can no longer enforce it does it matter people will smoke weed no matter how many laws you want to pass against it we are innately designed to follow our own hearts, not the laws and the pathways created by governments, but the freedom and infinity that this universe on this planet provides. 
that is one of the reasons because uh, for privacy to be to, so important because we will violate regulations that are no more meaningful and applicable and if we uh, are subject to an every see, ever seeing overseeing eye uh, we will be put in jail criminalized but if we have the ability to associate and change overturn and establish a new social contract then we will become the new thing yes absolutely um what the blockchain does more than anything else and what cryptocurrency does is it's giving a gift to the individual like the gift of fire that will change humanity's direction culture and evolution's direction in one way or the other in a radical fashion i wanted to go on the side of the individual not the not the side of totalitarianism i very much agree with you and uh, we share a lot of these values and uh, i wish you great success with your current and future endeavors thank you very much thank you sir